Okay, so on to archives now. <laughs> it's very Banjo Kazooie esque, but then I guess it is rare. A rare game. Right. Oh no, hold on. They start talking, don't they? They're just going to start shooting at me, aren't they? Oh. Actually, let's do it now. You've got the watch magnet so you can pick up. I don't know. It doesn't really make that much difference other than just walking up to the gun and everything. Oh. Oh. Except you... Oh, it doesn't change gun very easily to after doing that. Okay. if all the guards are the developers faces because I know they use them for faces in the game because some of them are like quite distinctive just like with the beards and stuff oh that looks like something's behind that Indeed. Nice. I thought this was the room in the Talia was in, because that would have worked out really well. So yeah, we just got a... Escape. Yeah, we've done that. Escape that room. Find Natalia. Escape. I think she's on on the second floor. And we are on the second floor. Oh. That was weird. Was he actually going through there, was he? I didn't expect them to use those. Yeah, I've been thinking, um, just because I realise getting through uh, Goldeneye fairly quickly, obviously uh, what game to then go on to. And I keep saying this in every video, or you know, every game I go into, that like, oh, what game will I play next? And I should be concentrating on the game I'm playing. But um, I was thinking... Um, well, I mean, obviously there is uh, Goldeneye on Xbox now. So that's an obvious one there, but I don't know if uh, for one reason just playing Goldeneye in general, but also in terms of uh, the uh, video upload list, just it being Goldeneye and then straight after Goldeneye, I don't know. Um, so I don't know, it might be a good thing or a bad thing, but um, so yeah, basically I don't know if I'll do uh, the Goldeneye on Xbox next or not. But if I don't, I thought I might do um, Nightfire because that 
that's another one that I've wanted to do for a while, actually. <laughs> and uh, I don't know how long, how many games will go through uh, before I stop doing Bond games. Might end up doing all the Bond games before I even go on to any others. Because I do have others in mind. It's not all just Bond games. Becoming a bit of a Bond game channel. But, um... Um... Uh, so I'm trying to do this level and talk at the same time without just wandering around or not talking and actually cracking on. I want to try and be able to try and do a bit of both. Um, yeah, there's certain games that I'm thinking I'd, I'm not sure how it'll work because the best system seems to be that, um, playing games that have levels as opposed to like open world games because I can put it into... Oh, no. Oh, good. No. I did that last... Oh, God. I did that the last time I played this level. Totally missed those two guys there. But anyway, she didn't die, so that's good. Um, ooh. What was I saying? It was about... Oh, yeah. Like, open world games uh, it's a, seems a bit harder. Just when it's level-based, it means I can do a video on each level. So, um... Uh... Yeah, I want to play through Mafia as well. Or just games where there's a lot more dialogue, I guess. Because I realise I've got the mic set to a fair bit higher than the game volume. But that's just so you can like hear what I'm saying like clearly. But I want you to be able to hear the game and the dialogue if there is any as well. So I don't know how it'll work. So I don't want to do playthroughs if um, you can't really hear what they're talking about or what what they're saying. Huh. <laughs> it's like Uncle Albert from uh, Only Fools. Um, and where's Natalia gone? She got bored of me talking and walked off. I, can't, I actually don't know where she's gone. <laughs> I thought she stayed with you. Like, At least there's not a time limit though. Um, so yeah, that's something that I thought like... Like I say, I want you to be able to hear the dialogue going on in cutscenes and that kind of thing. Um, there's plenty of games I want to do. And there's games that I've played loads of times and just want to play through again. There's some games that I've never played. Some games that I sort of maybe had briefly back in the day. That I want to play. She can go back in here, did she? No. Oh god, we, we might actually have to end up doing this again if I can't find her. Because god knows, like... I'm sure she just stayed with you. And she didn't die. She definitely didn't die. <laughs> Did she? Let's check. Well, I don't know. You could find her and then she got killed and that could still count as completed. Uh, and can I go out the window without her and will that count? Right, I'm not going to look for too long. I'm maybe going to see if I just jump out the window if it just shows us leaving together even though she's nowhere near me. You know, it does say escape with Natalia though, to be fair. So you probably do have to have her near you. See, now this, <laughs> this is another mission that I might have to restart, but not down to my fault, I don't feel. Because... I don't know where she's gone. Yeah. So I also don't know how it will go for games I've never played, really, you know. Because sometimes the videos don't go as smoothly as you think. Or the game's not laid out. The game is not laid out as, uh, as simply, necessarily, or as straightforward as you think. So let's just give it a go. Oh, it's failed, isn't it? <laughs> Ah, oh, for God's sake. See, I don't feel like that was my fault. She does, it's like she does run off, uh, run off um, away from the room, but she doesn't usually just run off like that. Oh. Oh, no. No. Come on. Ammo. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> right. I'm going to use the watch this time. Damn it, man. It's always the missions that could be, like, relatively short that end up 
been really long. Right. So you got to press A twice. And it's not that quick. Right, should we do a bit of... Oh, different weapon, maybe. Different weapon again. Double. That's more like it. me it is mental I swear even like these days you don't see guards swarming in like this it's just like everywhere Gee. <laughs> oh god it is just Insane. <laughs> this is pretty much how a Bond film is, though, to be fair. At least, like, some of the old ones just taking out fucking tens of enemies. She's in here, isn't she? Right, don't go. Where's she gone? Right, okay. Right, follow me. Please. Get it. Stop on the door. Come on. This way. Oh. Oh yeah, that's another objective, I think. You don't have to do it in this uh on this difficulty, but you need to find him. Should we have a quick look? I think he's down here somewhere. I don't think he spawns in a different place every time, he's just in a room somewhere. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't realise there was... A, oh. Well, no, I kind of do remember now that I'm out here, but yeah. Oh. There is actually a, an outdoor bit. Right, there he is. <laughs> Look at that head. And then you probably pick up a key from somewhere to get in there, I guess. Ooh, get on. Ah. Okay. Ooh. Ah, we can just get out of here. Let's go. There we go. Sweet. Okay. So next we're on to streets. See you in the next one.